Hi guys, this is a quick video on how to replace the battery in an Audi 2007 S8. Uh, I was doing some work in the car the other day and had the ignition on for a little while and the car wouldn't start after that. So I tried charging it up and again you ran down after the ignition had been on for a little while. So I think the battery that's in it is past its best. I'm not sure how old it is maybe uh, see that when I take it out but I will uh, just talk you through the steps on how to replace it so I'm just going to check the voltage on the battery at the moment make sure that's in shot so voltage on this battery at the minute I have just driven the car so I expect a decent charge 12.94 volts which is yeah that's okay um, when it's charging it probably goes up to 13 and a half, near 14 volts, but when the car's not running, 12.94 is a good voltage, but um, I know from last week when I was in the car that if I switch the systems on without running the car for very long, it will run down quickly. So I am going to change it. Okay, the bolt that you need to remove at the bottom is a 13 millimeter, so you'll need a 13 millimeter socket or spanner take this out I think this is the only thing holding it in okay and then this bracket at the bottom has got the wire attached to it but uh, this is loose now. I think the battery, yeah, the battery will just come out now. What we need to do now is take off the battery clamps. So you've got one there, one there. Um, and you can buy a, a memory saver for your car. So this car's not too bad. Most of the memories uh, are saved hard coded into things. So if you lose the power, it doesn't lose the settings. But some cars may have uh, some systems which you lose the memory for if the battery's off. So you can buy a, a, an extra battery that clips on to the two terminals so that when you remove the battery, it's still got power. So what I am going to do, I'm just going to put my battery charger on there. So just plug it in. I've just got an ordinary 12 volt battery charger there. And what I'm going to do is just clip on the two connections before I remove them off the battery. So, uh, one there, and the negative on the other side, which goes onto the car. A bit tricky to get on there and find a, a spot. That's got it. Okay, so that will now supply power even when I've disconnected these cables off the battery. And I'll keep those on until the new battery is connected. Okay, the battery terminals on this are held on with a 10mm nut. So you'll need a 10mm socket to loosen that off. Don't take it all the way off. Um, once you've loosened it off, the battery clamp will just lift off as you can see there. Do the same the other side. Just loosen it off. And the terminal should just lift off. You can see that. Just move that in a little bit. Okay. And the same with this side. Once that is off, the battery will just pull out. Right, all I'm going to do is lift this out. It's really heavy. Just clear all your cables out of the way and out it comes. So here are the two batteries side by side. This is the one that's come out of the car. 
Uh, it would have been 2007, I'm pretty sure this isn't the original one. And this is the replacement that I'm putting in. Now they're slightly different specifications. The one that I'm putting in is 110 amp hour, 900 amp cranking power. And this one, the old one, is 110 amp hour, 850 cranking power. Um, to be honest, as if they're physically the right size to fit in and your terminals are the right way around, because sometimes the plus and minus are reversed on the battery, as long as they're in the right place, and it's the right size, it'll physically fit in the space. Uh, you, it's not really, doesn't really matter too much um, what, uh, what power the battery is, as long as it's at least 110 amp hour for the S8. Because the S8 does have um, a lot of systems in there which, uh, which are on power. Okay, so take off the plastic protectors on the terminals and we'll just slide this one back in same way the other one came out So, fitting this is the reverse of what we did before. We will put the negative terminal onto the battery, like so. The positive onto the battery. Make sure the battery clip is all the way down. So, with those clips back on the battery, what we need to do now is just tighten up these 10 millimeter nuts that we loosened off before. Make sure it's tight, yep. And the negative. remove the battery charger. Okay, so the last thing to do is to reattach the clamp which holds the battery in firmly. So tighten up the 13mm nut, make sure it's tight. It's a heavy battery this, so you don't want to be breaking and having this battery moving around. That's it. Make sure your terminals are still nice and tight, yes. Um, and replace the uh, internal cover. So, thanks for watching. Um, I may make some other S8 maintenance videos as they come up. Um, if there's anything in particular you're interested in seeing, um, programming devices, uh, maintenance on, on the rest of it, wheels, um, perhaps you can let me know in the comments and. Uh, Next time I'm doing something on the car, we can video that too. So thanks very much.